So when you're photographing people or even animals, how do you get the kind of emotions that you're looking for out of them? Well, you know, I, I'm the type of person who I'll, if I'm not getting the expression I want, I'll jump in and say, no, raise your eyebrows more, you know? Or, you know, I'm very direct. It's like, no, I need a bigger smile. Oh, too much smile. So I don't consider myself particularly skilled in eliciting expressions or something, but I'm patient and I'm expressive in my prodding the people to, uh, to, to give me what I want. And with the animals, it, it really boils down to patience and having a good animal trainer. That helps too. So you're a director like Norman Rockwell used to actually direct his, his paintings by having people do what he showed them to do. Well, I think anybody who creates a photograph rather than takes a photograph is a director. It's just some people are more animated in their direction and others are less animated. I tend to fall more in the animated side of things. John, any tips you have for lighting? Yes, I have to laugh because the first thing that popped in mind was I went on a week-long shoot down to South America and I took my Profoto 7Bs, which I absolutely love, and I forgot the charger, which meant I had, you know, one day's worth of, of, uh, of uh, charge out of the 7Bs and the next six days I had to deal with existing light for all my shots. And uh, so the first thing that comes to mind is that Supplemental lighting for me is extremely important. Whether you're shooting outdoor in midday or in some dark room, being able to, to light it the way you want by having your lighting with you, that to me is really important. Mm -hmm. That being said, when I'm shooting for compositing, often I'm trying to get very flat lighting because I know I can add direction, I can add uh, dimensionality in Photoshop. And if I have flat lighting, those parts are more flexible. I can flop it and still make it work. I was shooting elephants in Thailand about a year and a half ago, and I hired a film crew to bring a great big silk screen, I think it was like 20 feet by 20 feet, placed between the sun and the elephants, and the sun was at my back. So I had a very flat, soft lighting on these elephants, which means that as I come back to my studio and I'm trying to make them work in different environments, all those different shots will work. I don't have to worry about now the lighting's in the wrong direction or something. Right. Be sure to subscribe now to stay updated on my show, and we'll give you tips and insight to keep advancing your photography. Also, check out our guests' website for a closer look at their work. Tune in to our next episode of Advancing Your Photography for an inside look at another photographer's world. Until then, this is Mark Silver reminding you to get out and capture your own images of life.